Okay, if the user made a long click on any of these list items, we have to start the contextual action mode. We have to display the contextual action bar. At the same time, we have to display a checkbox on each of these row items. For that, first we have to implement some interface on main activity.java. So implement some interface on long click listener. You need to implement some method. You need to implement on long click method. Okay, that so here that method is implemented. And now go to the contact adapter.java. So here each row is represented using a card view. So we have to create the click listener for the card view. So go to the view holder class. First here we have to create some variable for card view. I name it as card view. Now we need to initialize that variable. So card view equal to first typecast that one into card view. Now find it item view dot find the view by id r dot id dot card view. Now we have to set the long click listener for the card view. Card view dot set on long click listener. So here we have a main activity variable. So use that variable main activity. So if the user made a long click on any of this list item, it will invoke the on long click method inside main activity dot java. So first we have to clear the menu on the toolbar. So use that toolbar variable toolbar dot get menu dot clear. So here we have two menu resource file available inside the menu folder. One for the normal toolbar and another one for the contextual action mode. Now we need to inflate the menu resource for the contextual action mode. So toolbar dot inflate menu r dot menu dot menu action mode okay now there is a text view available on the toolbar we have to display that text view also we have to display the checkbox on each of these row item so here we already declared that text view we hide that text view now we need to make that text view visible so counter text view dot set visibility into visible now we have to display the checkbox on each of these row item for that here we have some boolean variable we have to change that one into true is in action mode into true now call this method adapter dot notify data set change this will display the checkbox on each of these row item. Now finally return true from here. And one more thing we have to display a home button on the contextual action bar. So get supported action bar and use this method set to display home as up enabled and pass true for it. This will add a home button to the toolbar. Okay, uh, now we can test the application, run it. Okay, select the virtual device. Okay, now the application available on this virtual device. So now here I am going to make a long click on any of these list item. I made a long click. Now here you can see now the menus are changed. This is this one is the contextual action bar, and there is a home button is available, and that text view is visible. Here is the delete button, and for each row there is a checkbox is available.